Hey everyone, I'm testing Kazam 1.4.0 um, and I'm on a bunch of raring. Now, this should be included in raring, um, but right now you have to install from their PPA and I'll include links to that in the YouTube description. Um, so I'd still been using GTK Record My Desktop just because I'm old school, I guess, and um, the, the one thing I did like about GTK Record My Desktop is it does the encoding afterward which although that's kind of a pain in terms of having to wait for it, the one advantage is um, there's not the, the CPU overhead. So when you're demoing something CPU intensive, I didn't really know what kind of results Kazam would deliver. So I'm testing that now. Um, oops, I should mute that. That's gonna be annoying. Um, so as far as like, the user experience of using the application, there's uh, no noticeable overhead of using um, Kazam, which is awesome. Because uh, I don't know if people that have used, um, say, the Google screen sharing uh, inside Google Hangouts, um, not only is it kind of jerky on the, the other end, but it really makes using the application locally slow. So that's awesome about Kazam, that there's pretty much no overhead there. I can tell it all. We'll have to see how the frame rate ends up in the recorded video. Um, so two settings I changed when I, from like the default, um, yeah, this all seems pretty smooth. Um, I changed the video to be H.264 instead of the, the raw video, which at least on my system doesn't seem to be working. Um, and I also increased the frame rate to 30 frames a second because I think 15 just isn't quite fast enough to really capture, um, say Unity's animations or animations that an application might have. Actually, I should see how that turns out. Um, but definitely the the X264 settings that Kazam uses are um, very good in terms of minimizing CPU overhead. And yeah, I think if you have the multi-core system especially, it's um, really no problem at all. And there's not the knowing wait after the fact um, to wait for it to be encoded. So. Kazam 1.4.0, install it from the PPA, but it should also land in Ubuntu Raring, and you should help test it out. Thanks. Bye.